Well, but, uh, you know, the Bible says uh, beware of false prophets. And there are people out there, you know, spreading uh, uh, noise about how much can get done. We've got groups here in town, members of the House and Senate here in town, who whip people into a frenzy believing they can accomplish things that they know, they know, are never going to happen. House Speaker John Boehner igniting a battle between the Tea Party and establishment Republicans, some say, because will the, but will this help or hurt the Republican Party as they search for their next speaker? Because Mr. Boehner made it clear he's calling it quits on Friday. Let's talk to the first congressman who has announced that he would like to be the next speaker. Florida Representative Daniel Webster joins us from Orlando. Good morning, you Congressman. Good morning. Great to be on. It's great to have you. Uh, what did you think of uh, Speaker Boehner, outgoing Speaker Boehner? They're talking about false prophets, uh, talking about people in your party, in Washington, in Congress, promising things that they know they can't deliver. Well, what I'm uh, promising, I think I can deliver. I've done it in Florida when I was Speaker of the House there, and I know it could, it could happen. It's not based on personalities. It's not based on groups or, or, or coalitions. It's based on the fact that we make every member successful, and we've got an opportunity to do that. It's based on principle, not on power. Okay, what's the principle? Well, the principle is that every member needs to represent their district. And so if there's a pyramid of power that dish to you everything that you're going to get a chance to vote on and tell you, you know, you can offer amendments or today, but tomorrow you can't and, uh, and not take up all of the bills, that, that's a uh, power-based system. If you push down the pyramid of power, spread out the base, so every member can have an opportunity to be successful. It's still their job to go out and get the 218 votes to pass their amendment or pass their, their bill, but it at least they get a chance. Sure. That is a different process. That's a principle-based process. Okay. Well, uh, what about uh, Kevin McCarthy? You read the, the papers, they say he's the odds-on favorite uh, to replace Speaker Boehner. Would that be a, a step in the right direction? Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not into personalities. I believe that uh, what I want to see is a principle-based, member-driven Congress. We don't have that now. I'd like to have us have it. It, it, it is so freeing, and the American people are demanding it. Yeah. They want to see Congress work together, and we can do it. This is not a conservative idea or a moderate sure. idea or a liberal idea. It's not a Republican or Democrat idea. It's just a different way to operate the House of Representatives that works. You know, Congressman, there are so many people that are looking at the presidential campaign and they're going, we don't need any of the Hollywood, or Hollywood, the Republican Party elites. We need an outsider. Do you get that feeling in Washington as well? Well, I, I think, uh, yes, they're, I think they're clamoring for something, but I, that's what I'm offering, yeah. is a way that where we, as Republicans, can show ourselves as leaders. We can show ourselves as leaders by opening up the process, by allowing uh, lots of debate and lots of amendments and lots of opportunities for, for the members themselves to participate. And what, that, what happens if you sure. do that is a lot of the unintended consequences go away. Uh, when you only have a few people right. uh, sort of dishing up the bills and you, and you take yeah. a look at them, you get a few days okay. to read them and that's it. That's, that to me is uh, the wrong way to do it. And that's why you would like to be the next Speaker of the House, uh, Congressman Daniel Webster of Florida. Sir, thanks for joining us today. Great to be on. Thanks All a lot. Right.